Hey, Don, the window cleaner here. Uh, you know, I've been talking a lot uh, online about how the gospel is a solution to our problems. You know, we're having this this mess, uh, this dust up with Antifas and um, was it uh, white supremacists or are they white nationalists? I don't know what they are. But anyway, you know, we're going to be having these people come to this town. And I had made the comment. I said, oh, good. This is a great chance to, to preach the gospel and the forgiveness of sins to both sides. And you know, really got me thinking about that. I said, yeah, that's right. That's exactly what we're supposed to do. You see, there is a false gospel out there. And I know that I used to argue with white supremacists online a long time ago who claimed that they were Christians. And I said, well, well no, you're not, because there's nothing, there's, there's nothing racial. There's no racial component to Christianity. Uh, he said, Jesus said to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Um, Jesus was not a white guy. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven will be made of every tongue and tribe and nation and every, you know, it will be every race. It's going to be everything. Uh, there is, there is no supreme race. All right. There's only the human race. And I know that that's simple enough to make a bumper sticker, but it's still too much for some people to grasp. So... Uh, we really have to go to square one with people. And the fact is that we, we have people who look for others to blame for their problems. You know, if you're a white uh, nationalist, you're angry because you're sick and tired of being told that just because you're white, you're a racist. Just because you're white, you've got privilege, uh, some sort of privilege. Well, you know, if you live in America, you have privilege. You, you have things that people could only dream of in other parts of the world. I went to that website, uh, globalrichlist.com, because someone told me I could uh, put my income into it, and it would tell me what part of the top of the pyramid I am in. And here I am, self-employed window cleaner. Um, don't really have all that much, but you know, I'm happy as a clam. I'm, I'm fine. And I put it in there, and I found out I was in the top one-half of 1% 1 of the world for income. We're all privileged if we are here in America. And because we have uh, infrastructure that other people have built, we have, uh, you know, we have rights that other people purchased with their blood. I didn't have to go to war for it. And I really think that that is something to be grateful for. Uh, we should be a grateful people, not whining and complaining people. Um, you know, the Apostle Paul said to be, you know, he learned to be content in all situations, whether he had much or whether he had little. And we see people today who have a lot and yet are discontent. And people who have a little and yet are discontent. And that discontent causes people to do things that are inappropriate. It causes people to hate their neighbor. Like it's their fault. And, you know, the gospel is something that is very individual. You know, whether or not I am saved has nothing to do with what other people think. Nothing. Because God is the one who judges us all. God is the one who sent his son Jesus to take our sin, take the punishment for our sin. And God is so big that he doesn't just group us by color and race and age and things like that. That's a really, really tiny God that can do that. No, our God is big enough to know us all individually. He knows who you are behind that mask. He knows who you are behind that username. He knows who you are, and one day you'll stand before him. And you will either stand before him with your sins taken away by the blood of Jesus, or you will stand there guilty of sin. This is Don Marsh telling you that the gospel is all that really matters. Believing in Jesus will change your life. Have a good day.